All right, it is Sunday, March 12th, uh, 8.27 in the morning. I am super, super tired, but I just finished packing and I'm ready for an adventure. So let's go. All right, guys, we are currently at a Sheets gas station somewhere in Maryland. I actually have no idea where we are, but I know that we are in that state. Please feel free to tell me how badly I said the name wrong. Uh, me and Corey, we're going cross country. And by cross country, I mean nine hours away. We're going to the East Coast, going to New Jersey, the worst state on planet Earth. But for good reason this time. We are going so that I can get tattooed by my all-time favorite tattoo artist, one of my biggest inspirations when it comes to art, uh, the godfather of surrealism and evil shit, and I just can't wait. We are going to Paul Booth's private studio. Uh, I was able to get a connection to go get tattooed by him, and it's a really big deal. It feels like everything's coming full circle because I literally grew up watching this guy tattoo my idols. Uh, people in Slipknot and Mudvayne, the fucking Undertaker, and uh, aside from the fact that he's tattooed all my favorite people, he's also literally my favorite artist, so this is a huge, huge deal, definitely a full circle moment, and uh, feels like a rite of passage, like I finally made it, so that is the plan. We still have about half of the drive left, so we are going to knock that out, and I will uh, touch base with you when we get to New Jersey. <laughs> All right, guys, we are at Paul's private studio now. I'm not gonna show you exactly where we are to not blow it, Corey's here. Uh, we were so exhausted from the trip last night that I didn't record anything when we actually got to the place that we were staying, which by the way, shout out to Dee for being an amazing host. She has been our New Jersey mom and she's taking really good care of us now. So we are waiting to walk in and uh, then we shall begin this process. Fuck, I hope I'm ready. I'm really nervous, which never happens, so hopefully everything turns out good and I don't throw up on Paul. Ew! Sorry. hundred songs to choose from. <laughs> so if you hate a song, you might like the next one, you know what I mean? It's, it's a very fat... Yeah, I can't complain about it. It's a weird made-up job, but the internet's fucking strange, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
You guys didn't think I was going to do the big reveal that quick, right? I got to make you want it a little bit. But we are back in Ohio now. I am back at the House of Masks. It is the day after, so I've had a chance to shower and kind of clean this thing up a little bit. So I'm going to show it off a little nicer than what it looked right after the tattoo. Uh, fresh tattoos always look pretty beat up, and I am definitely feeling this one. So real quick before I show this thing off, I have to give a huge, huge, huge shout out to Paul Booth for taking me as a client for hooking me up with probably the coolest tattoo that I will absolutely ever have in my life, uh, just making it an absolute dream come true. I had no idea what we were going to do. Uh, he kind of asked me what sort of things I liked that he did, and then he ended up surprising me with a mask piece, and it is massive. So not only did I go get a Paul Booth piece, but like I truly got a real legit Paul Booth piece. So I'm over the moon. Many, many thanks to him. He was so chill and so kind, and we had many, many laughs. And it was just a good time. I mean, the guy bought me pizza. Like, Paul Booth bought me pizza. How fucking cool is that? How many people can say that? I have just absolutely looked up to this guy my entire life. And uh, seeing him not only do my favorite type of work ever, like he would be my favorite tattoo artist regardless, but seeing him work on so many of my idols and now this whole thing coming full circle is just uh, a dream come true. I keep saying that, but it really is the truth. Also want to give a shout out to his assistant slash apprentice, Nicole. She was absolutely fantastic to work with. She helped us and took really good care of us. And I want to give a big shout out to Corey for coming along with me. Corey rode along, my best friend Corey, and he was able to do some filming and stuff while we were there. And he made the trip a little less miserable in all other aspects, like the traveling part and stuff like that. And the biggest shout out, the biggest shout out of all is to my friend D for taking care of us in New Jersey. She gave us a place to stay. She was a fantastic host, took us out to eat at a really killer restaurant and uh, good times were had. So shout out to all those people. Thank you guys all very much. And now I know you're dying to see this tattoo. You're dying to see the finished project. So without further ado, here is my new one of one Paul Booth piece. Are you ready? Pretty fucking sick, right? Okay, so I'll absolutely post healed photos and stuff like that on my social medias when it's done. If you guys would like to see a full picture of that because I am just self-filming on my tripod right now. So there's only so much I can do, so much that I can show you. But there is a full picture that was taken at Paul's studio right when we were finished over on my Instagram or on my Facebook. So make sure to go check those out. And I think that that is going to just about do it for this video. Also, just going to include this real quick. This was the last trip, the last voyage for this mask. But I will be doing a full in-depth retirement video on this piece because it is such a special piece. But yeah, I just wanted to throw that in because it was kind of important. And... Oh, look at that. Waylon's calling me, so I gotta go. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed it, and until next time, we will see you later.